Hey guys, I'm Sage Valentine and I'm back here to review another episode of NBC's Emerald City. This time it's all about season one, episode number five, entitled Everybody Lies. And this review is late, but it is review number one out of like four this week, so just bear with me. Now, when we last left Dorothy and Lucas and Sylvie, they all were split up. Lucas and Sylvie ended up being taken by Eamon. And Dorothy ended up being taken or kidnapped by Ojo. Ojo basically took Dorothy straight to the Witch of the West or the Mistress of the West. And Sylvie and Lucas, aka Roan, ended up being taken straight to Emerald City to Eamon's house, pretty much. So we see Jack, Lady Ev, and her father, August, and they're headed to Emerald City. When Eamon gets home, he sees his wife, Indra, and Indra knows Roan, a.k.a. Lucas. It seems like she knows him well. And according to Eamon, Roan was his best soldier, and witchcraft is what got the soldiers killed in that situation that Lucas kind of can't really remember, but it kind of comes to him in flashes. But Eamon is adamant that Lucas did not kill those men. And he also says that Roan Lucas is in danger. Ojo tells the Witch of the West, or the Mistress of the West, that this is the chick, Dorothy, who killed your sister. And in exchange for him bringing Dorothy to West, West was supposed to free his wife, Nahara, from the prison of the Abject, which was that big mud pit that they showed us in the first episode and it pops up sometimes in different flashbacks. And she, West, promises that she will. Tip pops up and she's bringing tea and she sees Dorothy but she acts like she doesn't recognize her. And of course Dorothy doesn't recognize Tip because the last time she saw Tip, she, saw, she thought that Tip was a little boy. So West tells Dorothy to tell her what magic she used to kill her sister East. And Dorothy says, go to my bag, and it's inside of my bag. And that's where West pulls out a gun. And West will not believe that Dorothy did not pull the trigger on that gun to kill her sister. And it was really sad when West revealed that Dorothy killed the only person who was able to love West because West was not easily loved. And I'm just glad that she's mourning her sister's death and that that death is not in vain because sometimes on TV shows, somebody will die and it seems like the story just keeps going and going and going. So in Emerald City, this festival of the beast is happening. The wizard asks King August, could you build us some weapons so that we can defeat the beast that's coming? Then we get to the fight between Anna and Elizabeth. And the first time I watched it, I was cracking up. I was like, these two were throwing shade at each other the whole time. <clears throat> so Anna reveals that she believes the beast will come from the sky, will have a mind and a heart, and it can be killed. Elizabeth doesn't think that that is the truth. Lady Ev picks up on what's going on, and she sees the division, and it seems like she's living for that division. And that argument at the table causes the wizard grief. He, like, slams his hand down on the table. He is not here for Elizabeth at all. And Lady Ev realizes that you have a lot of capable people on this council, but apparently these folks do not agree with one another. So West is talking to Glenda through this freaky cloth Skype. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and she tells Glenda, listen, I found East Killer. And Glenda tells her, wait for me, don't do anything foolish. And I'm just like side-eyeing Glenda because I'm like, you know, she doesn't think that Wes can do anything right. So, West is fond of Tip and this chick Miranda seems jealous that she was replaced by Tip. Because at first, before Tip came, West and Miranda were like this. And Miranda's pissed so she steps on Dorothy's foot. She's holding like a shard of glass between, I think, her big toe and her second toe. And when this chick steps on her foot, the glass cuts into her foot. Lucas and Sylvie are together. Sylvie tells him that Dorothy is nearby. 
West is a super strong witch. That's why she's my favorite. And that scene when she suspends Dorothy in the air, like Dorothy's up and then she's up and she's hanging. That was the coolest thing ever. West knows that East was on her way to see her to tell her about something. And I'm sitting there watching the episode like, I wonder what she wanted to tell her. So West says to Dorothy, your mother could care less about one baby girl. And she tells her, like, my mom created all these witches, but she still had time to take care of me and I guess her sisters. She was like, how rotten do you have to be for your mom to abandon you? And I'm just like, damn, West, West wow. So she also says that something, your mom saw something broken in you that cannot be fixed. And I'm just like shaking my head like, wow. West is definitely something else. So West spies Dorothy wearing her sister's gauntlets. And when she touches them, it burns her hand, and it reminded me so much of the scene in The Wizard of Oz when the Wicked Witch of the West tried to take off Dorothy's ruby slippers, and it burned her hands, and I was like, oh, that was awesome. So the wizard tries to get August to help him. He's walking with him, talking with him, and it's clear that August has Alzheimer's because this dude starts talking about I'll help you if I can get my dog that died a year ago. I think it was a year ago. And the wizard knows this, so he goes to Lady Ev. And he's just like, Lady Ev, you knew that your father's memory was bad. How come you didn't tell me? And she was like, all I am is just a petulant child. Isn't that what you said? I'm living for Lady Ev. She's so just like not taking any mess that it is ridiculous, and I love it. Lady Ev said that her kingdom had no choice but to deal with the beast that came. And the wizard was able to defeat the beast, but only protected Emerald City and couldn't save Ev's people and could not save her mom. And she sees through the wizard and she sees how phony he is. And she wants to see Emerald City laid to waste and for him to drown. And I was wondering, I was like, does she want him to literally drown or does she want him to just lose his status or status as like the big dog probably both so dorothy tries to escape she's trying as hard as she can and then she tries to get tip to help her and tip was like you don't remember me i used to be a boy and tip blames dorothy for her misfortune in becoming a girl but we all know that tip was already a girl dorothy had nothing to do with that that was Mombi trying to protect Tip. And I cannot wait until Mombi pops up again so she can tell us what she was protecting or at least they can reveal in the story what Mombi was trying to protect Tip from. Lucas disguises himself so that he and Sylvie can go find Dorothy. Wes disguised herself as Karen Chapman, Dorothy's mom, so that she could fool Dorothy. It works for a second until Karen slaps her, and that's when Dorothy realizes this chick is not my mom. It's West, and West is able to see the truth of what was happening with her sister and how her sister spoke to Glinda before she died. And East was about to warn her about Glinda. Jack thinks Lady Ev hates him, and he doesn't know what she wants from him. Lady Ev says that he's her friend because she's never had a friend. He tells her in order to get a friend, you have to earn one. So that's when she really decides to take him down to the, um, what's it called? To the festival so that they could get, get, get to know one another. The wizard is upset that Eamon was outsmarted by Dorothy. And Tip gave Dorothy her bag because she says she didn't want another death on her conscience because at this time she didn't know that what's from call it Jack was still alive <laughs> I'm like what you call it so anyway Glenda tries to act like she cares for Wes when she pops up did you guys notice in that scene how when Glenda appears all of a sudden everybody in the brothel is looking at her like what's she doing here I was dying when I saw that scene and Glenda says she hadn't seen East in a while, which Wes knows is a lie. And Glenda is just pissed off when she finds out that Dorothy escapes. 
West does not believe at any time that Tip betrayed her and helped Dorothy. Despite the fact that Miranda's like, listen, this new chick, she helped her and they they tied me to this like thing because it was like that, um, I forgot what it was called, but it had like a trap door and there was like a lock over it. And West gets so angry that she lifts this chick up in the air and slams her against this thing and the girl falls down into the sewer. So clearly she's dead. And when Dorothy escapes out of the sewer opening, she sees Miranda's dead body floating right out. Lady Ev knows that her father's mind is going, meaning he has dementia or Alzheimer's or early onset or he's basically there. So the wizard shows Anna a bullet and basically said it's so powerful that it can kill the beast forever. Dorothy sneaks around the festival with a mask on. Roan, a.k.a. Lucas, battles the wizard's guards and kills a few of them. And I'm looking at that scene like, okay, he can't remember what happened, but those instincts as a soldier, as a killer, slowly but surely coming out. So, apparently, Lucas killed... 10 guys and all of this is revealed by the person who caused that wound in his side that Dorothy had to tend to and that was the reason why she ended up crossing paths with Tip and Mombi and Jack in the uh, second episode of the season. So Sylvie runs to Lucas's aid and Lucas tells her that he has the answer for what he's done. Basically she has to hide and that she cannot use magic at all in Emerald City. So this band of men, a bunch of bullies, decides to bully Jack and Lady F. And poor Jack gets beat up at first until these guys, well, their fists, make contact with the metal on his chest. Needless to say, Jack kicks butt and takes names and ends up with a girlfriend, a.k.a. Lady F. Because remember, she said that she wanted to be a little bit more after he saved her. So, I ship it. I think it's cute, those two. So, West sees Glinda with the Mistress of the East. And she realizes that Glinda lied, obviously. I'm not surprised, because Glinda is kind of evil. And on a side note, I've been skeptical about the Mistress of the North, a.k.a. Glinda the Good Witch, after seeing the play Wicked because Glinda was not what she appeared in that play. So that's what made me a little iffy about that character. So Lucas says to Eamon that he killed those men, those soldiers. He admits to it. And West tells Ojo that she cannot help him free his wife she lied and I'm wondering is that the truth or is it that West is so distraught that she can't bring herself to even use that magic or maybe she doesn't know how to use that magic or maybe it's a combination of things Toto finds Sylvie and they hug and I think it's so cute at the end of the episode Pink Floyd is playing I'm just like that is so cool so cool and we see Dorothy heading into the wizard's castle just to see him. And we find out that the wizard is the person playing Pink Floyd on what looks like a cassette player. I'm old, so I remember those things from the 90s. And Dorothy pops up and she turns off the song and she's got the mask on and the wizard just like you came to kill me and Dorothy takes off the mask and it's just like the wizard knows her and I'm just like so he knows her I'm like what's going on with this storyline but anyway this episode was really really good I'm so glad that I sat down and rewatched it again and as I said before I'm going to review episode six I've got those note cards right here see episode six so i will be getting and for those of you that are subscribed to this channel i've got a total of three more reviews because i have to do the next emerald city review i have to do um 
24 Legacy, which I did write notes for, and I have to do Walking Dead, and I will be doing Episode 7 of Emerald City before I do Walking Dead, because this week is super busy, and I gotta get all of this done today and tomorrow. But until next time, you all take care. Love you guys. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>